Hey guys, it's me here with another tutorial for you today. Today I'm going to show you guys how to be a computer hacker. Now, you're probably asking, hey, what are the benefits of being a computer hacker? Well, first of all, it makes you look cooler in front of people, including your friends and family, and it also makes people on the internet listen to you. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what you can do to be a computer hacker. Enjoy! Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go on the internet and look for a wallpaper or just a picture of skull and crossbones, like this. Make sure the resolution fits your monitor or else it's going to stretch out and look all pixelated. You wouldn't want that, would you? Now what you're going to do is open up your preferred image editor program. It could be anything you want. For this example, I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop CS4. Now open your image. And you should have basic skills at image editing, so what we're going to do is kind of zoom in here and open up the color palette. Sort of choose a light blue, sign of a techno blue, I guess. That's how you could call it. Hit OK. We'll open up a, a text layer. Get a good size. I don't know, we need to probably go pretty high here. Uh, how about we go 175? That should work. Okay, so what you're going to do is put your name in, like this, to let everybody know that you were the person who edited this and not to fuck with you, okay? And another thing you can do to make yourself, well, look more legit, is put X's next to your name. So like, X, 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 now we're going to kind of move that over and center it. You see, putting X's in your name lets people know that you're a better person than them overall, and you're a better hacker probably too. So what we're going to do is save our image. Exit your image editor, right click on your new image, and set it as your desktop background. See? It's that simple. Okay, so the next part can get a little bit tricky, so try and follow along. Open your start menu and type in cmd.exe, hit enter. If you're running Windows XP, you're going to hit run, then cmd.exe. Now what you do is sort of drag this so it matches the top and bottom. Oh, Windows 7 does it for you. Move it to the side, then type in start. Then move it right next to it. Drag it down. There we go. Type in a start again on either one of these. Here we go. Move this right here. And drag it down. And keep doing this for as wide as your monitor is. If you have dual monitors, you're going to definitely want to do it all the way across because that's going to make you look even cooler. Now we're going to do some commands, okay? So first, we're going to type in at echo off in every one of these. At symbol, echo, space, off. Now, in each one of them, you're going to type in color. I'm sorry, color A. Color A. Color A. Now, in each one of them, you're going to type in CLS. And you can also, this is optional, you can type in title hack01. Title, Hacko 2, Title, Hacko 3. You can title them whatever you want, but make sure to title them before you do the CLS or clearing of the command window. Alright, now the next part is where you look cool, okay? So you're going to type in start one more time. And you're going to do color. You're just, actually, you're just going to leave it the way it is, okay? And now... You're going to type in, in these windows, tree, tree, tree. So whenever anybody comes over to your computer, they know not to fuck with you, okay? Because he's clearly got something going on here, all right? And now, you're going to go here and type in ping, and just insert some random website, maybe the, whatever you want to target here. I'll just use Google for an example. Google.com dash T. And there you are. Now you look like a pro hacker. Everybody knows not to fuck with you. Um, with this method, he'll 
everybody will like be around you and say, "Oh man, this guy, this guy has a cool wallpaper with his name on it. He's got command windows open. He must be a cool guy. I'm going to befriend him." So yeah, that's how you be a computer hacker. If you need more computer hacker advice, just let me know. I'm always open for a message, some questions to be answered, and uh, let me know. Thanks.